Hey, it's me, and today I have a very different type of video. I don't think that this is gonna be a regular thing at all. It's just something that I'm gonna do this once because <sighs> two reasons. So many people have been requesting that I do this for years, and two, this week is incredibly busy for me. <laughs> it would be really, really nice to have a little bit of spare time this week. So no, this isn't a super time intensive video like I would normally give you guys, but I hope that you enjoy it. Um. This is gonna be weird. I don't really know this format. I'm like, ooh. We're gonna do it, it's gonna be fun. So, I know for sure that I want to react to my super old squishy makeover videos because that's my most popular series. So I'm definitely gonna react to the oldest squishy makeovers that I have. It has been a really long time since I've seen them. I'm gonna start with positioning myself so that we have a nice area for the screen to show. I know how to do this. I'm gonna be looking at my laptop right here and you're gonna be looking at the screen right here. Let's scroll to the very first Squishy Makeover from April 27th, 2018. Long enough that things have changed. Squishy Makeover 1, starting now. Oh. Oh, that old intro. So today I'm gonna be doing something that should be really fun. I'm gonna do five different squishy makeovers, painting them, cutting them up, doing whatever I feel like needs to be done to improve them. The intro seems pretty normal. Good job. Exhibit A, we have this little cookie. It looks like it's rancid. Squishy roasting before it was called squishy roasting. The coloring is really sloppy and uneven. Let's quit complaining and give this cookie a makeover. <laughs> you can hear the audio shift when I say let's quit complaining because I actually went back and recorded that little bit to add in there. I was worried that people were gonna get irritated that I was just complaining about these squishies. Also notice my naked nails. I never have naked nails. The bravery. I'm gonna start painting the cookie with some chocolate brown fabric paint. Ah yes, the popsicle stick method. <laughs> a lot of people wonder about why did you used to paint with a popsicle stick and now you don't. Back then I was using slick paint. If you use a paintbrush with slick paint, you're gonna be stuck applying layer after layer after layer after layer after layer because it's super see-through. I discovered the matte fabric paint which is brush on paint, much more opaque. That's how I paint my squishies now with a paintbrush. Anyway, oh, the, the shakiness of the camera. Why? Why was I shaking so hard? Moving on to this ice cream, I love the shape of this one and it actually feels like a nice quality foam, but the color selections are gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I didn't realize that there was such a difference in the editing style. It's changed a lot. <laughs> the energy level on these old videos is much, much lower. They're very cold. Which is fine. I mean, some people I'm sure prefer that. I just like... There's also a lot of paint missing and lots of little holes in this one, which is not cute. Disclaimer, I know that this stuff is to be expected with cheap squishy, so I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I was really worried about that, wasn't I? <laughs> Oh wow, I used to show how I would dry the squishies too. I n I'd never show that anymore. And since I have some leftover paint, I'm gonna put that in an empty little paint container. Oh my gosh, my paint container was so clean. <laughs> oh. And now I'm using a candle holder to hold up the ice cream while I sprinkle it, sprinkle it, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle it. Oh, I swear, I say the cringiest things sometimes. At least I acknowledged it. <laughs> and once that's all dry, it's complete. Oh my gosh, it's so simple. It's so simple. I painted one color on top, one color on bottom, put some sprinkles on it, and that was a squishy makeover. Those were the days when I could get away with that. Now I spend hours and days on every little intricate detail and people still complain that I didn't do enough. How did I ever get away with that? Next we have this popsicle, which comes with a lot of cheap looking sprinkles that are already falling off. I feel like this is like the roasting section of the video where I just throw tons of insults at the squishies. That's where squishy roasting came from. I could not remember the origins. That's weird. I didn't rem- oh. Huh. 
I did pull them off as carefully as I could, but he was left with some battle scars. Boy, you're destroying that thing. So I used some scissors to try to smooth out the surface just a little bit. Don't do that. And I'm using black sprinkles to represent the watermelon seeds. I think that would have looked better if I painted seeds on. I really love how this one turned out because it was quite a process to fix this one up. Next is the coffee. Oh my gosh, how many did I do? So I went with a light pink for the cup. That was kind of tricky, but but I did my best. You can see my struggle to get it smooth. Yep. And now we can start dealing with the top of that, which at this point, it's very ripped and broken. Oh, you have seen nothing. I'm gonna go with white for the whipped cream, which is very original, I know. Who would have thought to use white for whipped cream? Crazy. Are my jokes still that bad? Oh my gosh, they probably are. And voila, here's the final squishy. Boy, okay, I think I've seen enough of that. You know what? It's not as bad as I was expecting though. One of my least favorite things about reaction videos is when people try to like overplay how cringed out they are by their old selves. Oh, I'm so much cooler now. I didn't think it was that bad though. There were a few moments, sprinklify it, that I didn't really appreciate. Everything that I've changed since then, in my mind, has been an improvement. Some people may disagree. I know. I'm gonna go back even further to the first experience with squishies that I ever had. I was actually making them from scratch. This video was July 2016, two years before I did the first squishy makeover. Hey guys, so no, today is not one of my regular oh, videos. Wow, is my voice different? I'm in the process of making my next Create This Book episode. I think my, my voice, voice might be different. different. I was 21 in the this video. I was not a child. But I kind of sound like one. <laughs> I have discovered a new borderline obsession. I thought that it was an obsession back then with these little squishy, I don't know what they are, toys, I guess. Ew, why do I call them squishy toys? I hate when people call them squishy toys. No, <laughs> no, these are fine art collectibles, <laughs> okay? Not toys. Okay, so let's get into what materials you will need. Okay, so first of all, you will need the foam and you will need both part A and part B. Why am I talking like I'm scared? <laughs> also, some disposable gloves. I sound like I'm about to cry. So first I have a cup that is labeled A and also a stirring stick that is labeled A. Then I have a cup that is labeled B and its own stirring stick as well. Come on girl, can we pick up the pace a little bit? Then you will need a cup to mix the two solutions in. I just spent like a minute talking about what cups I have. <laughs> um, I gotta go a little faster. Today I will be using some cupcake molds, a cake mold, and a donut mold. And finally, you'll need some fabric paint to decorate your squishies. This video is so, so normal. <laughs> so straightforward. I was more focused on teaching something. I discovered eventually that I don't really enjoy the teaching aspect. I really just like to share what I'm doing. Then I just talk. It's a very different kind of vibe. You'll start by measuring a spoon of your B solution into the B cup. I think my voice sounds weird because I'm trying really hard to sound pleasant. In tutorial mode and I'm really trying to make sure that my voice is nice and pleasant. I dropped that eventually. The phase before this, a lot of people were commenting that I sounded really monotone and like really sad. Why do you sound so sad? Because in comparison with the people who are like, ah! Hi guys! My voice does sound kind of sad, but this is just the way I talk. It's just a normal sounding voice. It's just normal, okay? And this stuff is pretty thick and sticky, so make sure to scrape all of it out of the measuring spoon. And then repeat that so now you have a second spoonful of the B solution going into your cup. Okay, I underestimated how boring this video was gonna be. <laughs> this solution that I was using, you've gotta be careful with this stuff because it can actually burn you. I probably should have put like some sort of disclaimer. Like this is not for kids to use. Make sure that you use it in a ventilated area. I probably should have been wearing long sleeve shirt. Oh, the foam expanding is kind of satisfying. Let's skip to the painting and hope that this gets more interesting. Now onto the really fun part, which is decorating. You can really get creative with this and it's just a lot of fun. Ooh, those actually look good. I kind of want to... <laughs> 
kind of want to eat those. It's like manufacturing your own toys, and I know I'm 21, but I still love toys so much. And uh, what's not to love about these? I mean, they're just so cute. I mean, I do still love toys. I just sounded stupid when I said it. <laughs> I have a ton of these that I haven't painted yet. I'm planning on painting all of them. Oh, you will not, my friend. I actually have an entire bin of these that were abandoned when I switched to squishy makeovers. One of these days, maybe I'll paint them. Look how sad and bland my background is. <laughs> that was the most attractive corner that I could find to film in front of. First of all, I have this donut, and this is the only one that I ended up using um, soft pastels on. I mean, the designs came out okay. I don't think they're like horrible for my first time. I definitely didn't paint enough layers on them, though those paint jobs are a little splotchy, my darling. Well, that video, that was bland. <laughs> now, I know so far I've been on the squishy train, but I've chosen one more, and this one was actually my first thrift store makeover. I don't know, I thought it was another kind of moment that I wanted to look back on. But this was posted August 3rd, 2018. So a little bit after my first squishy makeover. Let's watch. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Not too different, honestly. Actually not that different at all. What is this intro? You can see a difference in the energy level already. Things are a changing. I journeyed over to my local thrift store. Oh, I remember that thrift store. So this birdhouse was obviously hand painted by some person Person. I did notice some kind of frizzle frazzle in there that I wanted to get rid of. Frizzle frazzle. Somebody in my life, it might have been my little brother, asked me if I could incorporate the words frizzle frazzle into my video, and that's the only reason why I said frizzle frazzle at that point. I always thought birdhouses were really cute and have a lot of decorating potential. I never actually let the birds use them, you know, like outside, partly because I don't have a yard. And did I explain why I didn't have a yard? No, I didn't, because I didn't want to. We were actually renting me and my husband were renting somebody's basement. I didn't really want to say anything about it because a lot of people found that a really creepy situation. <laughs> but you know what? You gotta work with what you have. It wasn't that bad, honestly. There were people living in the top of the house and they just rented their basement to us. They lived up there. We lived in the basement. It does make me appreciate having our own place now. <laughs> I'm breaking out some red polymer clay, massaging these two together. I always do that. Wait, you always do what? What? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm using them to cut down the paper clip. Uh -huh. The table is like not stable at all because it was literally a folding table on carpet. The surface keeps shaking. It was so annoying. Stick that little cherry and ooh, oh, oh, yeah. It's so cute. I still do that kind of crap. I'm gonna throw on some of my homemade clay sprinkles. I do have a tutorial for these in the eye cards if you wanna know how to make them. Whew, the self-promotion today, laying it on thick. Self-promotion? I talk about my uh, past videos all the time now. I don't even really consider that self-promotion. I was paranoid. Here's where it all comes together. Apply glue, secure that on, and voila, here's the finished piece. Aw, it's so cute. And I still love that, obviously. It's still sitting there right in the frame because it's still one of my favorite things that I've made. Okay, I know I only reacted to three videos and I could have dived more into my really old videos, but I think that this video is probably going to be long enough already. So I'm going to stop there. I don't know how interesting it was for you looking at me, looking at my old videos. I don't know. For those of you who liked it, I'm very glad. For those of you who didn't, don't worry because this is not going to be a regular thing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.